Hey game nerds, my name is Alvin and welcome back to Diablo 3. Uh, so we are just about to descend down to the cathedral at level 1 on our quest to hopefully find and rescue Deckard Kane. Uh, so we have our Diablo 3 mug filled with our peppermint tea and we still have little Diabobolo, Diablo, and little Tyrio, little winged angel baby uh, to help us on our mission to uh, to do the thing, to clear these dungeons, to uh, save the world, because that's what you do in Diablo, you save the world. I have moved my face cam down to this lower corner, so that up here we can see all my uh, summoned creatures of your little zombie doggies, and uh, here we go. Oh. All right. <gasps> Search for signs of Decker Kane. Here is where the fire fell from the sky. Strange magic comes from below. <laughs> gotcha. Tasks may seem slow and senseless, but they hide many dangers within their hideously malformed bodies. A set of spikes lurks beneath the monster's flesh, and foul parasites nest within them. It is said that these horrors themselves are constructed by a greater evil, a darkness that I cannot even fathom. Creepy. down the way we came because I want to make sure we explore everything on these little maps here. Oops. Nope. Oh, is that going to be a solid dead end here? Nope. Okay. Let's pick that up. Let's go back this way though. I'm thinking this might dead end up here. Okay, I guess let's go down the other way and see what's over there. There's a lot of backtracking when I play these games because I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Good jobs. Enemies. Some foul new disease has taken hold in this land, and the carrion bats are near the heart of it. Since returning to Tristram, I have seen their numbers surge. The evil forces that linger here give them strength, and I fear that the worst is yet to come. Power globes grant you Nephilim glory. Mouse over the icon seeds of it. Move faster and unleash terrible blasts of energy on your enemies. Health and power globes will magically will magnify the intensity of this effect. Okay. About to lose whatever that other one was. Go this way, I guess. 
this was a dead end. Okay. Oh, could have grabbed those low quality cloth pants, but oh well. Come on, doggy. bonus. I don't know what that's for. But we got it, so. Oh! Ragus Grimlo. <laughs> you guys see this? We thought we could keep the dead trapped here. Akarat, save me. Poor guy. Let's see, uh, what's up here where Ragless Glow is hanging out? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, I do think we need to... Is it tab? Yeah, we need to go back up top. Yeah. Okay, we missed some stuff up top, so we're gonna go up there. I guess we can take care of these little winged bastards for us, so. Okay, got him. Now we go back up here. the captain of King the Oryx army. I left only to honor my land and my king. No man has a greater love for his king than I had for mine, even as I drove my blade through his dark and corrupted heart. Okay. Black Danon is a great name, though. He was Lazarus. Of that I am certain. He alone had the king's ear, and whispered dark and evil magics into it, instilling the notion of an imminent attack by Westmarch. Afraid to speak against the Archbishop, the councillors nodded their empty heads in agreement, and sent us off to die. Wasn't Lazarus uh, a bad dude in the uh, first one, right? I remember, like, King Lazarus' son being a thing. Uh, and then he found his little body on an altar? Or something? I remember Lazarus being in the first one. And he was bad. 
Oh, that's something I can go to? Oh, it's healing well. Okay, I don't need that yet, though. Go this way. Bookcase. Hold. Oh, I'll take it. Lockdown in part three. When we return from our horrific defeat in Westmarch, my beloved king lost all pretense of sanity. He seethed with rage, spitting curses upon us as traitors. With great sorrow, I ran him through. A checkpoint. We like checkpoints. Here we go. Leo York's passage. Foul minions, stay back. Back. May this wedge hold. The skeleton cave. The power of the fallen star awakened me, and soon all will suffer as I have suffered. Gods, bring me his bones! You, but why did you risk yourself for me? Because you needed my help. I'm a hero. Come, I must return you to Leah. Oh, it is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I fear the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. Cathedral Garden. We must discuss the fallen star. Follow me to Tristram. Okay. So what's over here? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Absolutely nothing. Oh, body. There was money over here. Tristram. I have kept my word to Leah and rescued her uncle Cain. I pulled him from the clutches of the skeleton king, who still holds the fallen star. Talk to Leah. Uncle, you're alive! Thanks to you we did and that. your friend here. We did that. I seek your wisdom. Tell me of the fallen star. The prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. Achievement, a mystical meeting. Adventuring Bracers of the Bear. What do we got here? What do we got? Okay. Currently have regenerate six life per second and three life after each kill. Okay, so we will sell that one. We will sell that one. Or break down, I guess, maybe is what we'll do instead. Same with that. Ooh, plus 20. Yes, okay. That's much better. Not a sword person. That's better. That's even better. 
You didn't have one of them. Okay. trying to move with WSAD. It's not working. Okay, so go to page two. We're on page two. I just don't remember anymore. Whoops! Sorry, Kane. The Skeleton King was once our beloved lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. Leoric should be in the unformed land, yet he stands between me and the fallen star. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. Okay. Leah, you... I am the last of the Herodrim. I couldn't always claim this. In fact, if I had turned to the Herodric teachings sooner, Diablo could have been stopped before his reign of terror began. You cannot believe so this. So we blame Cain for when everything. When the first signs appeared, I did nothing. I had shrugged the old tales off like they were so much fantasy. And Tristram, no, the world has paid dearly for my arrogance. I have tried to make up for my failings. Leah and I have spent her lifetime scouring the world, collecting pieces of the prophecy of the end days. If I can decipher it, we will have the key to defeating the Lords of Hell. Okay. The bond between you and Leah is strong. I do not know what my life would have been like had I not raised her. Oh, it must have been difficult for Leah, following an old man on a mad search really talking for the about secrets it right in front to defeating of her. the Lords of the Burning Hells. <laughs> but though she has seen her share of mysterious things, she is still unsure of my quest. I, I can understand. She has never seen anything like Diablo and his brothers. So much talking. The prophecy of the end days is contained within the Herodric tomes I inherited from my ancestor, Jared Cain. Okay. It is a warning to those who could interpret it regarding Hell's ultimate invasion of our world. Written by many different people throughout history, in many different lands. All known versions of the prophecy are incomplete. I have spent a good part of the past 20 years trying to complete it. I am certain it holds the answers to defeating the Lords of Hell. Has it really been 20 years since the first game came out? Oh my god, I'm old. I'm so old. Leoric's madness was caused by Diablo? Leoric resisted Diablo's attempts to possess him, but the effort left him weak and confused. When his son Albrecht was kidnapped to be a vessel for Diablo, it destroyed any sanity Leoric had left. After Leoric was the Skeleton King, what then? He commanded an army of the dead deep within the cathedral, finally serving the Lord of Terror he had resisted while alive. Many adventurers tried and failed to slay the Skeleton King. It was left to Leoric's eldest son, Aiden, to finally kill the monster his father had become. Hmm. I've spent most of my life traveling from place to place with Uncle Deckard, while he did his crazy research. What does your uncle seek? He's convinced that the forces of Hell will invade our world and bring about the end times. All these years, he's still searching for a way to stop Is this Is she apocalypse. still not believing this? I mean, there's dead folks walking around. Do you have knowledge of your mother? She wasn't from Tristram originally. 
She came here during the Troubles. She was in search of something, but I'm not sure what. She reminds me of Uncle Deckard, obsessed with the war between angels and demons. Okay. I mean, who's not obsessed with that war, right? Alright, let's go see. I have some new items that I'm certain you'll love. Each of my items is very special to me, but I suppose I can sell you one or two things if I must. No. I'm saying no. Leah spent all night alongside the blacksmith's wife, tending the wounded. What? She Jesus. All about Miriam. How sweet of you to ask. Ooh. My people, the Vetchin, are nomads. Always traveling. Looking for the land we might settle. All of us have the sight, but few have it as strong as myself. You know, men have always pursued me for my visions. <laughs> well, for things other than my visions. But everyone wants to know what the future holds. The spirits will show me the future when it is time for me to see it. Well, I'm sure the spirits can guide you much better than I. Of course I'm kidding. The spirits are all fine and well, but you'll be happy to have me by your side during the trying times ahead. Okay. And then craft. We don't need crafting right now. Did you hear? Old Rumford has us down to half rations. How are we supposed to fight if we starve? Covetous Shen. Okay, so I think you actually come across him later in the game, and then since I did that my first playthrough, I think now that's why he's available now. Welcome back to Covetous Shen. Let's talk to Heydrig. Blacksmith, Deckard Kane said you could help me find the crown of Leoric. Not now. It's my wife. She's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? It must be done, Blacksmith. I will help you. Thank you. Follow me. He's got to kill his wife, and that's really sad. Cellar of the Damned. Oh, that's a lovely name. Let's put all these bitten people into the Cellar of the Damned. I'm sorry. They suffer, Blacksy. Aid us. Mira, my love, forgive me. Ah, Hedrick, help me. Sorry. Ooh, adventuring javelin of starlight. I couldn't have done this without you. I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. I need your assistance, Hedrig. I search for the crown of Leoric. I can help you there. It's buried with his chancellor, my grandfather. Oh, you find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town. Dollars to donuts, that fool apprentice is dead. He's dead. Okay. Looks like we're about to go into the, the main world, so I think we'll leave this video here. I'm not sure how long this one was, but I think they are, might potentially start getting progressively longer. So we will leave this one here and then pick it back up. Game on, nerds!